Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to do another little project on the new Alpha Loom. And this is really to show you that you're not limited to just making bracelets on this little thing. It really is rather fun. Now, some of you might have remembered that um, I did some Minecraft figures in a mural format. And uh, this is my little Minecraft Steve. I also did a creeper. And uh, I think I, I think I did an Enderman as well. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this on your little Alpha Loom. So it's just a little 2D figure, and uh, he's uh, very easy to make. So we're going to use our Alpha Loom. I've already taken a photocopy of my pattern, and I've drawn out exactly how I want him to be. So I'm going to put that to one side so I know what I'm doing. And put him here. So the colours I'm going to use, I'm going, I'm going to use dark brown, skin tone, I'm going to use turquoise for his shirt, I'm going to use navy blue for his trousers and I'm going to use black for his um, shoes. I'm using two white bands and then I'm using two blue bands for his eyes. All right, so let's get started. I'm using the comb for my little alpha loom. I'm going to start with his hair and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I did this um, on a regular loom when I did it last time. So I'm going to take a single band, I'm going to stretch it, I'm going to twist it into a figure eight, loop it on itself. And then when I place it on my loom, I'm going to twist it. Now, the trick here is that we're only using one, two, three, four, five of our pegs to start with. We'll then expand out to seven to include our arms and then we go back to five. Now in my original I expanded the arms out to nine so he is going to be a bit skinny on the arms but I don't think that really matters. So that being said we're going to skip this first peg set here and this last peg set here. So we're only going to deal with these five pegs of or pairs of pegs to start with. So put our first capped figure eight band there. Do another one. And the reason I did it like this was so that his hair, it's difficult to place them initially, so that his hair didn't have this great big sort of straggly long bit, uh, which when you're making bracelets, you use to actually join your bracelets together. But we're not making a bracelet. So here we go. And this is this is the hardest bit out of all of it is placing these ones and then it's easy okay here's your last one like that you are also going to need clear bands they're your crossover bands sorry i should have mentioned that before so i'm using the ones that came in my alkaline packet or kit i'm just going to have a few of those ready as well so i'm just going to place my clear band across these five pegs okay just these five, these ones here. Skip these two completely. I'm now going to take brown bands and I'm just going to play. Now, I'm telling you another, I'm missing out another important fact. Because we're making a figure, we're not going to use single bands, we're going to use double bands because that makes him stronger and not as floppity. Okay, floppity is a technical term. So two brown bands and you're going to place them over those pegs like that. Again, we're only doing the five pegs in the middle. So two bands with double banding, which is pretty normal for when you're making a figure, but not so much when you're doing a bracelet. I'm not too worried about if they're not, if they're a bit twisted on each other. I mean, if they are, you can put your hook in and just run your hook around and it does untwist. It's not as, as bad. Now, you're going to take the clear band that we have as our crossover band and flip it over so that it sits in the middle of these bands like this. It's, it's captured all of those. And then we're going to take our little comb. Now, I like to sort of separate my bands a little bit. So these are the ones that I'm moving up and over. I like them to be separate from the other ones that need to stay there. Push your hooks in and grab those capped bands. They're going to be tight because these are capped. And you gently wiggle over those bands that we placed here and push those down. Let's do the same the other side. I love that we can do so many in one hit. These are not as tight because you've already loosened the other side. So again, wiggle over gently 
and push these down. I use the back of the hook to push it down, but these are actually designed to push them down as well. Okay, now very important. Oh, look, I've lost a band here. Can you see how that one's come away? Let's grab it and pop that back on here. And in fact, I think it's supposed to go under the um, the twisted band that we have here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, to do that or not, but I will attempt to. Yeah, captured it. Oh, come here, you. Tricky. There we are. Got it. So we put that like that. Now we need another crossover band. So let's put our crossover band on. And we're going to lay another layer of double brown bands. So here we go. There's one pair. Two. Three, four, and five. Take your clear band up and over, like so. Now you can see that you've got the two sets either side. You're going to take your hook and gently grab the two bottom and up and over and push down. Same on the other side. Okay, up and over and push down. Now the way you can remember which is the top and which is the bottom, it doesn't really matter at this stage because we've just done hair, but I always sort of say that this side with the little hole here is the top if I need to uh, work that out. I'm now going to do a layer of skin tone, but first I need to put my crossover band on my joining band. Again, I'm using double bands. All of this is going to be double bands, so I'm not going to keep repeating that. So I'm using double bands. I'm going to take my clear band up and over. Now we have to just loop our double brown bands up and over, push those down so that they're nice and safe. Same this side, make sure you get all of them. Up and over, push them down, and this just gets pushed down. Now, we're going to add eyes here. So first of all, let's put our crossover band. We mustn't forget that. Okay, crossover band goes on. We're going to start with two skin tone. You're gonna to have two skin tone at the end, so either end, and you're gonna have two skin tone in the middle. And now what we need to do is the eyes, which will go either side here. So you're going to take two white bands and two blue bands. I've just chosen navy blue. And you're going to, uh, sorry, white band goes first. Put it on your hook, wrap once and twice and three times. Same for the blue band, once, twice, three times. Take your pair of skin tone and you're going to slide these on like this, okay, slide them on like so, and now you want the white to be at the top, so I'm going to turn that around and do it this way, come here, use my hook for one side, and then other side okay let's do the same for the others one two three one two three get a pair of skin tone slide them on make sure that when you place these bands that you have them the same way so white at the top and blue okay it doesn't matter if you've got them the other way around as long as they're the same. Otherwise, one eye's going to look up, one, one eye's going to look down. Take your crossover band and move it to the middle so that it joins them. And then using your 
special comb we grab both the bottom skin tones and we go up and over and push down and on this side too just the bottom two up and over and push down make sure you've pushed everything down nicely let's put a crossover band on we're doing a complete row of skin tone so two on all of these pegs It's a nifty little loom, isn't it? Grab your crossover band, pull it up and over. And then we get these bottom two. And loop and push down. And loop and push down. And if you need to, just make sure they're down like that. Our next one is where we start to do his little goatee. So we're going to do our, our crossover band first. And then we have two skin tone at the top. Two skin tone at the bottom. Let's try and make them so they're separate like that. Two skin tone in the middle. And then we're going to use some brown for his goatee. So we do two brown here and two brown here. Take your crossover up and over. And then we use our comb. Grab and pull up. Push those other ones down. Grab and pull up and push these other ones down. You can see he's starting to form. He's coming out the bottom here. All right, so now we have a crossover band. We have a pair of skin tone, three pair of brown. There's one, two, and three, and a pair of skin tone. Move our crossover band up and over. And we use the comb again and push down. And push down. You can push down here as well if you need to. All right, so that's his face. Okay, now I'm moving to blue and I need to do his shoulders. So what I'm going to do and I'm using the turquoise for the blue, I need to place um, capped twisted bands here on his shoulders first. So I'm going to take a turquoise, figure eight, and I'm going to place it on the first pair of pegs, like we did for the hair, okay, like this, and the same on the bottom pair of pegs. Oopsie, here we go. Oh, I'm not placing this one very well, am I? Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's get our crossover band. Now the crossover band is going to stretch between all seven pegs now. Okay, all seven of them. And we're just going to do pairs of the turquoise. And we're going to do this twice. So this is our first one. And then we change up our colours a bit. And as I said, um, he is going to look like he's got less thick arms. But that's because we only have seven pair of peg to work with. But I think he still looks okay. Grab your crossover band, flip it over, your comb. You're grabbing the bottom two pair up and over and push down. Same on this side. Now, if you need to, just sort of separate them a bit so that you can get your, your comb in without uh, grabbing the top pair. There we go. Push these down. That's really important. And slide through. See, here he is. He's coming out. All right, crossover band over all seven pegs. 
and again we're doing pairs of the turquoise or lighter blue whatever you're using do there we go move your crossover band flip it over and let's loop these over just the top the bottom two I'm sorry up and over and push down and the other side make sure you're just getting the bottom two oops bottom two Kate <laughs> wiggle 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 push over and slide everything down so that was two now we're going to start with a bit of for his arms okay so we need his his crossover band first put that on that joins them all together we're going to do a pair of skin tone so we're working on his arms here and another pair of skin tone either side okay so the first two pair and the last two pair like that are going to be skin tone and then the three pair in the middle will be the color of his shirt so turquoise one two and three crossover band pop that over get your comb oops helps if I get the comb the right way doesn't it <laughs> okay let's make sure we get all of the bands yes stretch and wiggle and push down and the same this side stretch out wiggle over and push down all right, crossover band, stretch over. Again, we're doing two, two, and then the bottom two pair. Oh, my fingers, come on you, two, and two, and then we fill these three in with the turquoise flip over flip over push everything down See, look, now I know his eyes look odd, you'll be fixing those, but basically all you do is push the uh, the bands through. You see they're at the back here, so you just move them, slide them forward, and the eyes will come. There you go. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, left a bit, left a bit, right a bit. <laughs> there we go, there's his eyes, see? It's beginning to happen. All right, so we did, that was two. We've got crossover band. Number three, row three for his chest. Well, for his arms, I should say. We're doing four rows with the arms. So this is our second last one for the arms. Crossover band up and over. I hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Get your comb, hook those bottom two bands up and over, and push down. Other side, make sure you get all of them. Okay, up and over, push down. Okay, so this is our last set for the arms. Over with your crossover band. Our first pair of skin tone. Our second pair of skin tone. And 
as I said, you should be able to do the other patterns that I have already done the tutorials for, but you just cut them down by one either side. We've done nine and the original one is nine and this one is seven. Flip over. Bottom two pair of bands. Up and over and push down. Up and over, push down, push everything down. So now we're on to his pants and his pants. We don't need any more skin tone. So we can put the skin tone away. We can put the turquoise away. We're on navy and black because we'll be using black for his feet. But we're only going to be doing five rows again. And we've got these ones here. So what are we going to do with them? Well, the first thing, let's loop one side across to the other like this and we'll do it on both sides okay like that so once you have them on here you're going to grab these two go up and over and here up and over and then we're going to move these two across to the peg beside it like this and these two to the peg beside it like this up and over up and over so you're gonna have a bit of a knot there but I don't think that really matters okay so we do that like that now with our crossover band we're only going across the five pegs in the middle okay and then navy blue and we're doing five rows of navy blue so this is our first let's get that in its right spot thank you very much crossover band up and over use your Home. I like to split them just so I know that I'm just getting the bottom up and over and push down same this side bottom two up and over and push down make sure you push things down I know I keep saying it again we'll get our crossover band over those five this is row two Crossover band up and over. Bottom two bands. We loop and we loop and we push down. This will be row three of our navy blue. Now these will be available mid-May of 2015, so only a few weeks to wait. And I have to say I'm very lucky to be able to have one and do the tutorials beforehand. Up and over with your crossover band. And make sure you've got... Now I can see I have an extra band here. which makes me think that one of these did not get looped. So I'm going to take the bottom one up and over. There we go. That's a little better. So let's grab our bands. Up and over and push down. And this side. Hey, come here. <laughs> up and over and push down. Crossover band, this I believe is four, and 
so we're nearly finished have to see how long this has taken compared to the one on the original loom that we did where we had to loop each and every one by hand once by itself instead of having a comb that did seven but in our case for the most of this five <laughs> Push down, cross over. This is our last layer for the navy blue. Then we move to black. Move your crossover band over. So now we're going to move to black. And we're going to start with our crossover. Whoops, let's start by throwing our loom on the on the desk. So crossover band, and again pairs, so two black, two black, two black, two black, two black, up and over, pull these up and over and push down. And over, push down, crossover band, Up and over with your crossover band. Let's loop this. Now, at this point, I'm going to do the same as I did for closing for my big bracelet that I showed. I did a tutorial on how to close a bracelet without using clips. And I don't want to use clips on this, it's a little figure. It's going to look a bit silly if it has clips on it. So, what we do. You're going to take your two bands from, say, the left side and move them to the right. And it really doesn't matter. You can take them from the right side and move them to the left. It depends on what, what you're comfortable with, what, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, whatever. Okay, so move them so that they are on top of each other like so. You're going to move the bottom two up and over. So you're pulling it out and over. Okay. In contrast to this next step, where what we're going to do, push these down, take these two, the first two bands here, and move them to the peg next to it. So you've now got four loops on here. You're going to push back with your hook on this particular one and grab the bottom two and loop them up. And then on this one, you push back past those bottom two, grab the bottom two, and loop up, push back on the top two, grab the bottom two and loop up. Do the same one more time. Hold on to that because we're going to take our little figure off the loom, just pick it off the loom like this. Now we now need to tie off these little bands here at the, at the base. So I'm going to go through couple of the top the, the bands here at the top okay and then with a single band I'm going to pull back through I'm going to add the tie off band there that little loop and I'm going to tie a slip knot just like that and that is how I have secured my little tie off bands and all you need to do to hide those is to go between some of these loops here 
and pull that tie off band back through so nobody can see it like that and there we have our little Minecraft Steve figure so I hope you enjoy making him I think he's really cute and as I said you can do the same for the Enderman and the um, and the Creeper I have those tutorials on my my channel and I will link them if you look at the top right hand side I'm going to link those um, videos so that you can go and have a look at them so there we go hope you enjoy take care bye